Now with the return of Coach Michael Weiss to the Philippine Ascals, the national team finished a pair of friendlies on home soil to mark a new chapter for the program. Paulo Del Rosario caught up with the Ascals themselves right after their win over Nepal last week to talk about the future of the national team. Joining me today are some of the members of the Philippine Ascals, some of the homegrown local contingent in particular that did shine in the most recent friendly here in the Philippines. A 1-0 win against Nepal, Patrick Detro, Sandro Reyes, and Harvey Gayoso. All of them from the south almost, I think, except for you, Harvey, but the south of Metro Manila, but either way, so great to have you guys here. First of all, Patrick, you were the man of the match last time around. You said that you didn't expect to win it, you felt like you were just doing your job. I know you're not really a humble guy, but then that just says a lot. What do you make of uh, the first showing of the Philippine Ascals under Coach Wise in his return? Well, actually, we, we really wanted to win. We spoke about it in the meeting, like, um, we wanted to get the result regardless of the preparations, of the lineup, whatever, because we want to create momentum for the team. So we did everything we could to win the game. Um, I just tried to do my job, you know, tried to do my job and then I have a lot of good teammates. They, I know that they would be there to help me, to help the team, to do their job as well. Harvey, you know, you ended up as a goal scorer and you were gassed at the end of it, despite coming in as a sub. I know that a lot of the guys here were coming from holiday or coming from a bit of a break and weren't really as match fit. But then, what does that say about the quality of the team? Uh, in terms of your fitness level, they're still able to show off what they can do and pull out wins in different conditions. Uh, what Coach Wise told us um, in, in, our, in our meetings is, uh, aside from playing with skill, we had to play with heart. And I think that's what we all showed, especially coming into the, to this game. Uh, we wanted to bring pride to the country. We wanted to change our our streak and we wanted to start having a winning mentality so we played with heart we, we, a lot of us gave our all just for the country and just for the team that we played for the flag we played for um, and it showed Sandro I remember back in the day Rizal Memorial used to be packed all the time there was quote unquote the golden age of the Philippine Ascals and I remember you would post photos of you being a wee child at Rizal Memorial enjoying what was there now the goal is to build up momentum and kind of get even just a bit of that back. How important was it knowing that you've experienced it and you want to bring that back just a bit more? Yeah, um, just yesterday even there was a big, I think, big difference between our last home games and the Mitsubishi Cup. Even if this is a like, way less important match um, on paper, um, still we got a couple thousand people there, so it's good to see that um, there are still people that want to watch us and have faith in us that we just have to return the favor by um, putting up performances and it's just about winning games right now. It wasn't the prettiest performance, wasn't the prettiest goal, but we just needed to win. Yes, how does it feel knowing that there at least now seems to be a bit more stability coming, at least in the short term, hopefully longer than that? Oh, you can tell that it gives a lot of confidence to not only the management but the team. Uh, we have we have a we have a main st uh, we have a coach who has come back. Uh, he's won a lot for the country. Basically, yeah. he's done a lot for the country. Um, so there's a lot of trust that we have uh, towards Coach Weiss. And at the same time, we have a mix of veterans and, and a lot of a lot of these new faces who are eager to show that what they have um, in terms of their talent. We understand that. This is just the start, and um, we're stepping towards um, even greater things. Where we're stepping towards, and we're looking towards accomplishing more. Um, but it's good that we know that we're stable at the moment, and, and we can start from here. We're basically, an opportunity for us to build from this um, from this win. Let's talk about the young guys, because a lot of people, when you talk about the Ascals, they still think about the old guard, Neil. You know, all due respect to Neil, I'm his age, so I can't really say much <laughs> about him being old. Uh, the young husbands, uh, Stefan Schrock. There is a new generation coming up, Dates, and you have seen them for the first time here. You were part of those old camps, but now you're seeing Sandro doing what he does in the middle all the time. You're seeing Harvey, who used to terrorize people in the UAP. Thank God he stopped. Uh, now part of the national team side. 
what do you make of this new crop of talent that not a lot of people are f as familiar with? Yeah, I'm, I'm super impressed, really. Like, um, we had a chat a while ago. I told you, like, the first training session that I had on June 12th, Monday, I was really impressed with all the young guys. Um, all of them, um, Sandro, of course, Harvey, Andres, Jax, even Gio. They were, they were all um, up to the task, you know. Before, I have seen um, homegrown players who struggle a little bit, you know, even myself. In the first few camps, first few trainings, struggle a little bit with the level, with the, to compete with the players coming from abroad, but you can see now the difference. Um, the, differ the difference is not that much, like what Coach Wise also said last night. It's not a lot compared to how it was before, so the gap is, is um, getting smaller. I think ability-wise, there's no question. You can see from, from the young players that the Filipinos have it. You know. How do you take up that challenge with the knowledge that you're not representing the Philippines on a FIFA window basis? You're representing the Philippines every single game day in Germany. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I don't really take it as a pressure, more of like an honor to be able to bring um, a good name for the country. Um, if I do well there, then people say, oh, the Philippines can produce um, athletes and footballers just like what all the other athletes are doing. So it's always nice to uh, be able to play any game and have the country on, on your on your on, on your name as well. Yeah. So it's nice to have that not pressure but privilege I guess. <laughs> uh oh yeah. And uh, Harvey, we have to shout out the fact that you're a domestic champion right now with uh, Kaya FC. And the fact that fact of the matter is is that you played really well this season. You scored quite a few goals. How have you evolved? How have you changed? And how have you translated that into representing the national team? They gave me the opportunity to redeem myself. Uh, I mean, certain situations also with, with, with injuries of other players gave me the opportunity to, to play. And I just took every single opportunity as a, as a chance to show that um, I was not held back by the injury that I had. So that gave me the momentum and the confidence to play the way I played. And um, when I was given this call up here in the Ascals, um, I just brought that momentum and I just brought that confidence in myself to, to do what I can for the country here. Just how excited should the fans be about what is to come for the Filipinas? Because not just in the next game, but the next windows and next few years, hopefully. Again, it's a new coach, new regime, so it's like a fresh start. So everybody's so hungry, determined, and we really want to bring Asgas back to where it was before. And obviously, we need the support of the people. You know, it's much better. It's we're more stronger. We have more energy when they are there, when they are supporting us. And um, I think together we can bring football into a higher place in the Philippines. You know, we cannot do it by ourselves.